Greetings. My name is Candace Craw Goldman of quantumhealers.com. Welcome to Quantum Explorers, where quantum healers Priscilla Lewis and Hara Katsiki truly go beyond in exploring universal consciousness and pathways into the new earth. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I am Hara Katsiki, and I am together with Priscilla Lewis for this uh, all brand new series of uh, videos that we are uh, preparing for you. Our aim is to uh, regress each other using uh, Beyond Quantum Healing and explore different uh, themes uh, of consciousness in the quantum field. And we are both very excited to do this together as we have been working already for quite some time. So we are going to every time um, give a subject in advance on our social media and uh, accept your questions. In this way, we engage you and you can be part of, uh, of our journeys. For this episode, which is our first one, our theme is uh, connecting with the Galactic Federation of Light and uh, ask questions regarding the current situation on Earth, and um, their level of interference, interference, do they interfere? How much do they interfere and everything around that? So thank you, thank you everybody for being with us and uh, thank you, Christilla, for doing this with me. I'm so excited. And we'll see you on the other side. I invite my Ra's guides, angels, cosmic and soul family, and Harwa from the future as an ascended master to join us today. Also, I invite my own guides, angels, cosmic and soul family, and myself from the future as an ascended master to assist and participate in Harwa's journey and find yourself amidst the space so vast, with colors so clear and so unique, that they are yours and yours alone. I am the council already. Okay, thank you for letting me know. I see around more oh, like an <clears throat> I see an oval um, table, tabletop. Um, it's uh, it's uh, floating. There are no legs supporting it. Um, it's kind of glass. It's like a transparent glass, um, and it's also. It's a glass, but you can also use it as a computer. And there are several beings around, all around the table. Um, and they say that we have entered the in one of the main councils of the Galactic Federation of Lights. There are 73 representatives um, at this moment, and they welcome us. Thank you. Is it 73 groups within the Federation of Light? No, there are currently 73 representatives. Okay. There are many more, but at the moment there are 73 who are more closely involved with the, with the Earth. And tell me how many people are sitting around this table right now? 73. Wow. And would you be able to describe how they look like? Uh, they all represent a different race, so there are many different kinds of being. It's, a, it's beautiful to watch because there are so many different kinds of beings, from humanoids to insectoids, um, uh, cat-like beings, amphibians, 
and many others. It's a, it's a big range of variety. It's a big variety of beings. And do you think that they would welcome you to ask questions today or to give you some information with regards to what's happening onto the planet? Yes, they are willing to answer questions. So what do they feel is currently happening within the human collective? At the moment, they are discussing who is going to answer the question. And I'm, the one who is going to answer the question is, um, is Ian. Ian, he's a Syrian representative. And he says that uh, he's a part of my cosmic family. That's why he chose to be the first to connect. He's, um, he looks like a human. He's, he's wearing a silver suit, tight suit. Um, and he makes a something with his hands um, as a salutation. Can you do it? Could you mimic that? Uh, okay, thank you. Is that how he's greeting you? Yes, this is a Syrian greeting. Well, greetings, Ian. Mm -hmm. How may we serve you? Well, we are wondering, what is the Galactic Federation of Light doing? Or how are you currently influencing the planet with regards to how our free will is currently being interfered with? As we are the only planets of free will and choice is the Galactic Federation influencing the human collective in any way or assisting the human collective in any way during this time of conflict on many levels? We would like to thank you for your question and we will do, we will do our best to answer it. Since this is a very complex subject, we will try to simplify things for you. We are a group of races much more advanced than the earthlings as we as you perceive time. And our main aim is to watch, observe, study, and be part of the development of the life in our galaxy. Regarding your planets, there are many levels in which you can perceive reality. Yes, it is a free will planet, and that means that we are not supposed supposed to interfere with the development of uh, of 
of, of life. What we can do and what we do is that we observe and then we inspire. We assist and we do so by, by the thousands of um, ground crew that we have sent throughout the millennia through which we can assist you with. So it's as if we have to change from the inside, inside the planet, inside ourselves, to make the difference we want to see in the world. Yes, it is always an inside job. But we are here to advise you, guide you, and protect you until a certain level. And we have done so because there are certain races which you call reptoids. They are like undercover agents and many of them are not allowed on your planet and they have broken this rule and they have formed um, collaborations with your governments or the ones who are currently um, pulling the strings on your planet and uh, this is one case where we do interfere and we have removed many of them and it's a, a work in progress as we speak you say that you do influence us in some way through inspiration you inspire us how do you do that specifically for those who are looking to connect with you we are always available for telepathic communication to individuals who want to connect with us mentally we are available for contact and to guide you with our perspective and wisdom and we also do so by the individuals that um, are currently incarnated on earth that they are um, sent by us what you call artists uh, or volunteers and they you could say work um, for us they are agents um, wearing human bodies but their main uh, goal is to assist humanity in the upliftment did these agents of yours also pass through the veil of forgetfulness or mm -hmm. do they remember who they are yes there is a law 
that uh, whoever and it's a natural also law whoever passes the veil to come through a human vessel and incarnate on your planet there's always a level of forgetfulness but this is always um, arranged uh, in advance depending on the individual mission some will choose to forget uh, more and, and some less depending on the like I said um, individual uh, goal okay we did have a question from a member of the public and the question is what are the optimal ways to assist humanity open to their individual and collective oneness the answer lies within the answer lies within your own very hearts in the realization that you are creators or creators taking your power back remembering who you truly are accepting life and wonders realizing that um, everything outside of you is a reflection of your inner world connecting with your fellow human beings in love in acceptance in compassion in gratitude in appreciation remembering that you are all unique going through your own special individual journeys learning or even better remembering our message is very simple but yet very powerful and profound once you slowly allow yourself to operate through through these ideas and one thing that we need to shed some light on and, and, and your attention is the reconnection with the earth itself this is something that is very important right now as earth is moving on to the next level of being and you are a part of her much more than you can ever imagine you are part of her you are self within her body if you want to move forward into your development and ascension process you need to reconnect with her you can do this by simply being in nature physically you can also do it mentally if you are in a confined 
room, but uh, we would like to underline this subject because it's of utmost importance for your race right now and for your collective um, progress. I'm getting this visualization. Earlier you said it's an inside job. And it's as if I'm seeing all the human beings on the planet right now almost being the cells. And it's these cells within the planet that is beating with it, evolving with it. And that is why we need to be healthy in the progression of her ascension. Absolutely. And that's why you have to come together and work together and put down your shields and your arrows and love each other. Open your hearts with loving compassion and embrace your fellow brothers and sisters. In this way, you will become stronger and you will connect with each other and connect with the planet and live in oneness and in peace. May I ask, there is a split happening within the human collective right now. What is happening within the split and will it result into different timelines. Again, it's a, it's a very complex subject, but we will try to simplify it. There are numerous timelines. And numerous endless possibilities of realities and universes and experiences and so forth, so forth, so on. But uh, in order to simplify things, uh, looking at, at your planet right now, it's simply that several individuals are, let's say, have decided, whether consciously or unconsciously, to operate through a certain frequency. Every frequency or vibration which is a uh, result of your of your state of being uh, automatically puts you in a certain timeline or dimension and so as the ascension is progressing there are the ones who are moving with the wave so to say and they raise their vibration and they match with a certain timeline and they are the ones who match with the other timelines that match their vibration and frequency. It does take time to wrap your head around the complexity of endless possibilities. That is correct. If there is one message you can share with humanity today, what would that message be? From the viewpoint of the Federation of Light. We perceive you as magnificent beings of light. We 
with enormous potential for growth and we would like to thank you for your for your work for your willingness for your service and for always doing your best we recognize that and uh, And so we we would like to congratulate you for your hard work. You are all heroes. And we are always here to assist you. May I ask, have you connected with Hara in any way before? not consciously for her this is the first time um, i decided to connect with her in a let's say more conscious level but uh, as i said in the beginning um, we are family and we have um, let's say been together in the Sirius star system but it's the first time that uh, I appear to her and connect with her in this level beautiful is there a sign you'd like to give her right today or a feeling within her body to know that you are connecting with her at any time she has been feeling it already from the beginning. Good. It's a sensation that she cannot describe, but is very uh, distinctive. And uh, mm. this would this is my energetic signature through which she will be able to recognize me if she so wishes to connect with me in the future. Fantastic. May I ask, is the serious stock system or the serious beings connected to birds in any way? Birds on, on this planet. Birds. Birds. Yeah. Yes, there are several of your animals that um, have Syrian DNA, and birds are one of them. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much for the opportunity to connect with you today. Will the Federation be okay if we connect with you again in the future? It would be an honor. Thanks, Ian. If you could take a step back now with love and thanks for all the information you gave us today. Welcome back, Hara. How was your journey? It was intense. Um, it was um, energetically intense. Um, mm. I was from the interaction already kind of floating um, in this, uh, I don't know, space with clouds and I could already sense there was, I was approaching this council and then uh, as I went closer, I, I started to feel it energetically. I, I felt the shift of the energy from the physical on this dimension to, to, to that place. Um, yeah, it was very strong, especially when I started to speak, when I connected with, it, uh, with all of them, it was very strong because I could feel it in my body, um, like electricity running throughout my whole body and my heart expanding and yeah. yeah. What was fascinating, as soon as you started connecting, something amazing happened just outside my window because I'm facing the window and 
four birds, black birds, stopped right outside the window and they were looking at me and I was like, what is going on? <laughs> um, wow. And that's why I asked the question about the birds. Because I was, I was feeling the energy. I could feel the connection we, we had and you had. And when the birds came, that was just a massive sign. Like they could feel the energy and they were like, where is this coming from? And they were curious and they were drawn to it. Yes, that makes sense uh, to what I felt because I felt from the beginning on that we were both welcome there. So a level of your consciousness or however we can call that was uh, present there with with me, with us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I so was there. Yeah, that made sense that uh, that was like a, a physical uh, sign from them yeah. that uh, you are yeah. with us. And what's amazing as well is, you know, as you were going through the scenes, it's as if they were connecting with me in a way of putting images in my mind like visualizations and that's why I was able to see all these um, different perspectives with regards to for example when you said everything is happening from the inside out you know they were kind of showing me the earth being a human body you know and we are everything with inside of it operating and if there's no harmony there's going to be disharmony and with disharmony there's disease and you know and they were like explaining all this to me as well as talking to you simultaneously mm -mm -mm. yeah and it makes so much sense right um yeah i in in in, in this session i really felt the, maybe more deeply than before because of course we've heard it so many times it's even something quite banal yes love each other blah blah but i, I felt it deeply this time much more deeply the mm. importance of really connecting with each other in love yeah. and i want to say something more on the on what we were saying about before and because as you were speaking i remember this what happened during the induction the bqh induction um, that you did where we ask our energies to uh, merge and connect and amplify in our guides and all this and i i had this image of of uh, both our teams in a, in a circle and then you and me and I saw us merging so that uh, that was yeah makes sense because then after you you were with me okay mm. sounds beautiful yeah. yeah well I would like to thank you for doing this with me and I'd like to thank everyone watching. I hope that you were able to take something away from the session today and hopefully we are going to have many, many more of these amazing sessions to bring to you. And I'll just leave over to her. I don't know how sleepy you are or orientated you are. Is there something you'd like to say before we say goodbye? I just want to say thank you everybody for watching and I hope it serves you well. We love you.